Hi everyone, Jason's so, here. What's up what? guys? So today uh, we didn't finish what we were working on the other day, which we put all the gold parts on Ash's bike. I don't know if he did a walk around for you after we put all the gold parts on there, but we, we added a lot of stuff to his bike. It looks sick. Um, today what we're doing is putting on the radiator guard, which is a, a project. Uh, the radiator guard requires you to take off the top, the side, and all of this parts here on both sides of the bike. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking it apart and leaving the bolts in the holes where I got it. That way I don't get them mixed up. I mean, it, it's actually pretty simple. There's just a lot of bolts behind panels. So you have to take something off to get to the other bolt. That's the only issue is all the bolts that are on this piece here, you actually have to get these off and these off to be able to get to those bolts. Yeah, it's strange. I, I don't yeah. know why Ducati doesn't, or all bike makers don't put the the guard right away because the guard is kind of, it's a must part, right? For, for the ready. Yeah, I, I mean, to, to me, yeah, I agree. I think it's it's a it's not an expensive production part. If you were making, you know, as many as you were making bikes, it would cost a few thousand, oh, well, I was gonna say yen, but like $50 to probably mass right? produce it and just and add at, it to the bike. Yeah. But it's really hard to put to to go through all of this uh to just put the guard so yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a job yeah it's my first time doing it so i'm just learning as i go along well, we took this side just part of this side so what we're trying to do now is see if we can take just one side and try to slide it in from the other side or do we have to take both sides which is pretty annoying so so I might have to take because I think what's gonna happen is um, I'm gonna leave that there to hold it the whole front part needs to come forward so probably I don't think we can bend it enough for it to, to come forward slide to slide it in yeah. there because where's the parts here is the bottom part the present. bottom part the top part I mean they actually just sit in there though. I know. So it, maybe it's possible they could slide in there. I guess I could give it a try. Okay. Um, there isn't a bolt hole on any Nothing. Of them, so Nothing. I, I actually think we might be able to slide this. That's from where though? Uh, that's what I'm going to have to figure out. If there's a way. If there's a way, we will let everybody know. But if there's not a way, we'll just... Let everybody know. Yeah, let everybody know there's not a way. But here's the beautiful... CNC racing radiator guard. Actually, this is really nice. It's stainless steel as well, this part. And this, I, yeah, I think it's all stainless, actually. Stainless is a lot better than aluminum. Aluminum, actually, I have another brand. I'm not going to say which brand. Aluminum, if it gets hit by a heavy rock, it'll actually bend. And it actually dented in the aluminum and hit my radiator. So should. I don't recommend it. I think you should aluminum. say the, the brand people need to... No, because it's a really high brand. I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's Evotech, boys. Just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, how did you know? But, of course, uh, it's evil thing. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. They're, they have great stuff, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, it is what it is, right? I mean, it, it, it's, it's aluminum. You yeah. want light parts, you sacrifice. And it, it yeah. was, and it was a fluke. It was a big, it must have been like a big heavy rock or a bolt or something that hit my. Probably was one of my bolts last time, right? I don't know. No, your bolt hit my windshield. <laughs> and he's like, no, it didn't. Nothing happened. And then it later, wasn't me. The bolt was missing. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, actually, the good thing though, if it's aluminum, I was able to bend it, bend it back nicely, and paint it, and it looks like I never, it never even happened. You. So All right. That's the good part about it. I've done it wrong. So we tried to put these two, one bolts inside here that hold this piece of plastic to the radiator, and. Uh, I think apparently you have to take the whole radiator down and then do it. We're trying to do it without, and it's a it's a killer. It's an adventure. It's a killer. Look, look. So you have you can tighten up only from one side. Yeah, it's rather than it being a bolt and a nut, it's a it's a it's a bolt that's fixed to the plastic, so you can't turn from this side. So if you were able to get the nut in there and hold it with a wrench like this and turn it. On this side, it'd be fine, but Ducati didn't do that, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the only way to do it is to get a nut inside there 
which was not an easy task. What I did was I took a piece of tape and I pushed it in here like that. And then I stuck the nut in there so I could stick on the tape. And I stuck this in there and I was able to, to get it on. Because yeah. if, if not, it's just going to keep falling off of your wrench. When you and when it, it falls inside there, it's, it's, it's a nightmare, really. So we've been, we've been in, in here for like the last 40, 50 minutes. Uh, and finally, uh, Jason got it done. So, so from here, I think it's going to be a, an easy, an easy uh, fix to put the stuff back. But this was tough. And also, we realized when we put uh, the CNC, um, this one kind of sticks here. The upper part, the bottom part kind of holds it and it squeezed it and here it's here. But from, for the bottom part, we couldn't fit it properly. But now when we tightened everything up, now it's 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 much better. But honestly speaking, really, really disappointing to know that Ducati doesn't put these kind of things from the beginning because it's such a work to put this guard, um, um, this, the, this radiator guard. So to be honest, the EvoTech one, is really easy to put on my bike. I don't have to take anything off, it just fits. That's one thing I'm impressed about Evo Tech. But it's the same. No, mine, I don't have to take anything off. I can yeah, the bike off. is different. I know, but but no. There's, <laughs> so it's not there's another company called Vorg and Ayala that make a uh, guard. My final edition has the, the Ayala one on it. And that one, you have to take everything apart to put on there. Right, right, the, right. The, this one, the Evo Tech, I didn't have to take everything apart, so. The convenience of that is huge. Got her. Finally, I don't know if you can see the radiator. God, it's looking good, stable. Uh, but it was a hell of a right, Jason. Yeah, actually, getting those two nuts on and off. Getting those nuts off were easy. It was easy to do, but putting them back on was took a lot of patience. Took me like literally 30 minutes just to get two nuts on. Yeah, I mean, honestly speaking, um, I love Ducati and I don't want to speak bad about, about the brand, but honestly speaking, they haven't thought this um, thoroughly, you know. It's it's really, really hard even for for a good mechanic to put that guard back there. It takes, we have to take all of these fairings and and take your radiators to the front to just to have enough space if you have small hands probably you can do that but if you are medium to large hand i think it's going to be a tough a tough one so um finally it's done what helped me was my hands are gigantic not not huge so but i still had trouble but yeah other than that i mean i the, the job getting these panels off are actually, it's very simple. Five minutes, right? We did everything. Yeah, we had every the bike naked in you know five six minutes. Seriously, but getting those two bolts, those two nuts on the back side of the radiator off and then on was to the trouble part. We did that because we needed to slit the 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 guards between between that black kind of support here plastic. and plastic and the radiator. And All right, so a lot of, there's not a lot of room. Yeah. When yeah. you put it in there, it's like you have just a small gap to slide up. I'm sure you could probably loosen up the, the radiator and the, the oil cooler on the bottom, but you know, and make, have more room to play around with. But I think that'd just take too much time. I probably could have done it further and taken more stuff apart to make it more e to make it easier. But probably that's why I had such a struggle getting those two nuts on. Right. Right. Well, okay. Well, it's done. Finished for today. We're gonna pass to the next part of the video.